Good morning. Welcome back to Memorial Park for the 48th annual Labor Day liftoff. Tens of thousands of people showed up here very early, many of them when it was still dark to be part of this amazing celebration uh, of ballooning. And the park's starting to thin out just a little bit. We got a lot of guests that are still here uh, just taking in the sights. Well, there's a lot to see out here and there's a lot to do. There's going to be a number of uh, other things that happen here in the next half hour, uh, including some remote controlled balloons. I know there's a, a little show of that and then we'll have the wings of blue that are coming down uh, from the skies here shortly as well. Now, I want to take a live picture of the field because that'll give you an idea of exactly where we're situated versus where our crews have been. And as I mentioned, uh, maybe a slightly smaller crowd than we had before, but I have no doubt when they do the final tally, um, they're going to find out we have at least as many as we've had before at this time of the weekend, if, if not many more. Uh, meteorologist Brady Brewster is here with me to kind of give us a breakdown of the weather forecast. Conditions really have to be perfect, and this morning you couldn't ask for better. I mean, you said it. Perfect is pretty much what we got this morning. It looks like each morning for Labor Day liftoff, uh, we are going to be seeing some really nice mornings. We'll keep a close eye on the wind into the evening. Right now, though, if you don't believe how nice it is out here, we're going to take a live look from the top of Cheyenne Mountain, and maybe that'll convince you. We've got a clear blue sky, hardly a cloud out there. We're going to continue to see those pretty clear blue skies throughout the afternoon as well. Temperatures finally warm it up. It was a little cool out here to start, but now that that sun's shining, we're sitting in the 60s here around Colorado Springs. Most of the area trying to get into those 60s at this point. We've got almost 70s in Canyon City. Pueblo holding on to some 50s if you're heading out to the state fair there today. Our wind, nice and calm. That was really nice for that lift off this morning. You can see most of us still under about 10 miles per hour, which is exactly what we like to see here throughout Throughout the rest of our day, if you're going to be heading out, we're going to mostly land in those 80s. Pretty comfortable out here. I'll have a little better look, a closer look here, what those winds could do later this evening for that evening glow. Coming up in just a few minutes, Adam. All right, Brady, we'll look forward to that. This weekend, a bit of history is taking flight over Colorado Springs. Two of the oldest special shape balloons in the world are here. Chicky Boom and Uncle Sam, and I know Brady uh, showed you a shot of Uncle Sam when he inflated over here not that long ago. 11 News digital anchor Lauren Watson spoke with the pilots uh, that are flying both of those unique faces, which together are celebrating a big milestone. Chicky Boom flew for the first time at the International Balloon Fiesta in Albuquerque 41 years ago. She was the festival's first ever special shaped balloon, inspiring another creation, Uncle Sam, just two years later. And it will be my first visit there also, so it will be great. <laughs> I can hardly wait. I am so excited about being there. I, I can't stand it. I'm very excited to go up there, and I can't wait for everybody to see Chicky. I know it's the first time she's been in Colorado Springs, so, and you can't miss her. She has a lot of fruit on her head. <laughs> Chicky and Sam have been taking flight since the 80s, created because their designer said balloonists had been taking themselves too seriously and wanted to make something fun. For their inaugural liftoffs over Colorado Springs, they'll be piloted by Shane Shipman and Stuart Enlow. Being able to take something that I love to do and take it out to other states that, you know, they love seeing hot air balloons. Watching people's face light up being a hot air balloon pilot is just it's, it's an amazing feeling. Both of my kids were in the Air Force, so that's a pretty special thing for me to go there too. And to be piloting the Uncle Sam balloon there is just uh, the icing on the cake. Shipman is a pilot from New Mexico with Rainbow Riders, here for his third Labor Day liftoff. Enlo is making his first trip here from Atlanta since he started piloting around 40 years ago. Well, I started in 1982 and fell in love with it instantly. I mean, I took one ride and I was instantly hooked on it. I've been around it since, you know, since I was three years old and now I get to do it. And now I get to fly this iconic shape with Chicky Booms. Four decades of history taking to the Colorado skies all weekend. Lauren Watson, KKTV 11 News. I know many balloons those eyes out here were glued to those balloons here over the last few minutes as they took off. Many of the balloonists that you're going to see out here this weekend have decades of flying experience. 11 News anchor Blake Salmon spoke with one of them, and even though he has more than four decades of flying under his belt, Troy Bradley says there's nothing like stepping into that basket. You can be flying along at 10, 20 miles an hour, and you don't feel anything because you're part of the wind. You're like a particle of dust, basically. And then just getting the bird's eye view um, is, is remarkable. That You get to see uh, everything from the air. It's like uh, your own live Google Earth, you know? <laughs>
If it sounds like Troy Bradley knows a lot about ballooning, it's because he does. Well, I've been a balloon pilot my, uh, ever since I could. Uh, the youngest you can get a pilot certificate is at 16, which I did. So uh, I just turned 60, so I've been flying balloons for uh, 44 years now. With grandparents who he says were some of the first balloonists in Colorado, it may not be a surprise his family's history is intertwined with Labor Day liftoff. And my grandfather actually participated in the very first uh, Colorado Springs event here 48 years ago, um, as well as many year, years after that until he did finally pass. So it's evolved over the 48 years uh, with the, the name and uh, also the location. Uh, but yeah, we've, we've been here since, uh, since day one of it. Now the chief pilot at Rainbow Riders, Bradley says the ballooning community is a tight one. It's not like, uh, you know, we're not, not NASCAR racing, you know, we're not uh, doing something that you know, is big money or anything like that. We're, we're out here to have a good time and to, to share our, our love of the sport with, uh, with the general public as well. Bradley says it's that love that keeps him coming back because from the young to the old. Everybody loves to see a balloon and so that we're able to provide that and put smiles on faces, uh, it's unbeatable, you know, there's, there's nothing like it. As you've likely picked up on the, throughout the show, it takes lots of technical work behind the scenes to put on Labor Day liftoff. Joining me is the balloon meister for the event, Paul Petrin, live here in Memorial Park. You have a big responsibility here. What does it take to be the balloon meister? Well, first of all, I'm honored to be here. It's a great community event. I coordinate lots of logistics with the hot air balloons. Uh, the FAA logistics with the F Federal Aviation Administration, launch logistics, crowd logistics, vendor logistics, hot out bull productions, is who I'm here as part of their team, is the reason behind all of, uh, all of this planning. And it, it takes months of planning mm -hmm. to put uh, put it into uh, effect for this Labor Day weekend. I bet it all goes real fast too, isn't it? It <laughs> does. In the morning you, up. you gotta get that uh, snowball rolling down the hill and once it does, uh, and you have a great team that we put in place at, you, in weather. You have great mornings like today. It turned out beautifully today. Yeah, I couldn't. I, I give it a 10 out of 10. It was a spectacular morning. We had a very beautiful tribute flight to Scott Appleman mm -hmm. this morning. Scott, uh, uh, he wore his passion on his sleeve, and, and we're wearing Scott on our sleeves this weekend. Yeah, that tribute that, that took place, the first balloons to take off, uh, was significance with the, the one balloon that went up first and then yeah. some of the others? So Scott uh, flew the Dos Equis balloon at many festivals across the country, and then that was his 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 team of ride pilots that followed uh, followed behind. And then we started uh, with our Balloon of the Day Xfinity and started the, the regular scheduled uh, uh, balloon launches after that. He did a lot of interviews with us, but I know that his face was mostly behind the scenes here at this event. What do you want people to know about him? Uh, he, uh, he loved the community. He loved the industry. Again, he was very passionate about the communities that uh, he was a part of. He was passionate about the companies that he uh, he owned and operated with it, his wife, Heather, and he's very supportive of his employees and uh, a, a mentor of mine and a great dear friend of mine as well. Yeah, I know, and a lot of people are going to miss him. I considered him a friend, and yes. I know many other people did as well. Uh, is it looking good for the rest of the weekend? I think so. As uh, was indicated earlier, the challenges might be a little bit of wind in the evenings, but there's so many other, uh, other things to do out here. Uh, um, you know, we'll have the Wings of Blue dropping in at 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. uh, the afternoons, we'll have entertainment. We'll also have evening drone shows to go along with those morning drone shows. So much to do out here for all the, for everybody in the family. All right, Paul. Paul Petrin, the Balloon Meister for Labor Day Liftoff. Thank you Thank for joining you. us. I appreciate it. We'll be right back.